of LIBOR, the interest rate manipulation scandal is heating up as regulators probe into some of the world's most prominent banks, many of them U.S. banks. We've got a former Federal Reserve member who first raised the issue of possible rate fixing nearly 15 years ago. Yeah, joining us now, Jeremy Berkowitz, former Federal Reserve trading risk analyst. Uh, Jeremy, what was it that first got your attention 15 years ago? Well, actually, at the time, there were some distortions. There were probably mistakes that crept into some of the LIBOR quotes that we were looking at on a Bloomberg terminal. And um, that could have potentially contaminated the international measurement of LIBOR, but it didn't because of the throwing out of the highest and lowest uh, of bids. Okay, so let, let's first just quickly say that, that the way this London Interbank offered rate that a lot of other rates are set upon is put together by 15 different banks reporting what they feel is the average rate there. So, so when you first noticed that these possible problems, issues were there, what did you do? Well, I wrote a research paper with some theoretical musings on statistical techniques that would be best able to cope with contaminated data. And we were envisioning essentially data errors, typos. So when a bank had a 5% interest rate, it was accidentally reported as 50%. That's something we can deal with in a statistical framework, namely by throwing out the highest bid out of 16 or 18 banks. But don't you think the way this is set up, Jeremy, I mean, let's be honest, it's, it's a little bit of fudging, it's a little bit of collusion, it's kind of a private club, a cabal, if you like. I mean, isn't that the way it is set up anyway? Uh, that appears to be a lesson from the current experience. <laughs> uh, back when I wrote this paper, I don't think I would have imagined collusion being very likely, uh, partly because the penalties should be so high, partly because these banks compete with each other, and um, partly just a coordination difficulty. But that, if that was my prediction back then, I would have been wrong. This is fascinating to me that when you wrote your paper, you wrote it with the belief that it was a fat-fingered mispunch, meaning somebody actually at a typo, when in truth, as we now know from emails through Barclays, that traders were manipulating the actual numbers. Jeffrey, who at the Fed read your paper and who took it seriously? And do you believe that had they taken your notes more seriously, we might not have this issue today? Um, I, I feel it, I, I wouldn't say that the Fed didn't take it seriously, but the Fed was not an even today, the Federal Reserve Board in Washington is not directly su uh, in a supervisory position over the British Banking Association and over course, yeah. the LIBOR calculations. So uh, to a certain extent, the CFTC may be uh, partly responsible for this kind of supervision. To a certain extent, maybe the New York Fed. But I think the Federal Reserve in Washington, this was just more of a theoretical idea. Do you think this is a turning point, Jeremy, that perhaps this whole system may be changed now what, because this has come to light? I think it's very likely. I think it's very likely that the use of LIBOR in the international derivatives market, in particular interest rate derivatives, will be given a second look. I think um, the calcula even if that was not the case, the calculation of LIBOR itself will be given a second look. And yes, I do think this is a turning point. This is something Jeremy, we've, we've actually that, um, even... Go ahead. I was just going to say, this is even for somebody who, who thought about this problem 14 years ago, was a shocking episode. I, I mean, oh. you are compared to, the, it's, it's obviously not lives at stake, but, you know, an FBI agent who was noticing problems with the way certain pilots were learning how to fly planes but not land them. I mean, you knew, does it frustrate you that perhaps had somebody looked at this over the British Banking Association that it could have been avoided? It could have been mitigated in the sense that there are alternative statistical techniques that could be used that would be even less sensitive to misreporting. But I would say this, collusion by enough banks will defeat any statistical technique. So mm -hmm. if, five banks, if five banks colluded this time, next time it could be seven or nine banks. And this arms race between the statistician and the banks, the banks will ultimately win if the collusion is severe enough. There's the soundbite. Jeremy, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, thank you so much for joining us. Jeremy Berkowitz is the former Federal Reserve member who first noticed these issues with possible rate manipulation. Didn't see yeah. it back then because nope. wasn't, you know, but wrote a paper.